Hey everyone, um, in module one of our Seesaw class, we're going to spend our time getting to know Seesaw from the student perspective. So I asked you all to join this um, demo, a demo Seesaw class, and I just want to take a quick minute and walk you through some of the features on that student side. So right now, I'm on the journal tab, and the journal contains all of the completed activities. If your class is set up so that students can see each other's work, we'll see a list, kind of, I hate to call things like Facebook, but like a Facebook feed of all the work students have done. If you have configured your class to not let students see each other's work, students will see all of their completed and approved work, all of their own work right here. The next tab we're going to look at is the activities tab, and these are all the assignments that students need to complete. And here we can see it has a red two, so there are two that are waiting for responses. And then down below would be all of the activities in the class. The third tab is for the inbox so that has messages, notifications, and class announcements. So I'm going to click into this first assignment, find the shapes. We'll notice that the instructions are written out. And then we also have the ability to re audio record the instructions so students can listen to them. Draw a red outline. When I'm ready to respond to the question, I will go ahead and hit add response. So this particular assignment, the teacher uploaded an image and we're all, we all have the ability to interact with it. This will be something that I think you find really useful in Seesaw. And in module two, we'll take a look at how to do this. So before we go through and actually complete the assignment, I want to give you a super quick walkthrough of all the features we have here. First, along the top, you see that we can review the instructions. We also can play the audio version of the instructions again. Along the left, we have this T, which is a label. So we can label things. So I just typed in the label. I clicked away. And now I can actually resize if I need to. So we label the roof. The next item down is a microphone, so we can actually record our voice, and this is something we're going to do in our next activity. So you can record your voice. You'll see it turn red. We've been recording for seven seconds, and now I'll hit pause because we're finished with that. We can activate our camera to take a picture, um, and again, this is something we'll do in the next activity, but you just click the photo, and it'll let you take a picture. If we hit the three dots, we can use shapes or adjust the background. And then at the bottom, we can either write a caption, or if we hadn't already um, used some audio, we could actually audio record a caption to this as well. Along the bottom of the screen, we have a pencil tool, a pen tool, a highlighter tool, a special glowy highlighter, an eraser, and our mouse pointer. So for this activity, we have to outline rectangles and outline triangles. So I'm going to click the pen. And when I click, I'll click on the pen. We'll see we have different pen sizes we can choose from. And then over on the right, we see a color selector. Notice that as I move the color selector up and down, we see the pen change color to what it would be. So I'm going to outline a rectangle in red just by clicking, holding, and dragging with my mouse and drawing an outline around that rectangle. My next instruction is to outline triangles in a different color. So now I'll come back over here, select a different color, and begin to outline triangles that I see on this page. Once I've done all of that work, I can hit the green check mark to turn it into the, for the teacher to review. And then we see it's uploaded and it's waiting for teacher approval. Finally, over here, we do see on the student page an add button. And this is where students can post their own work. Um, it doesn't ha necessarily have to be associated with an assignment. We can have a picture, a drawing, a video, a link, a note, or we can upload something from our computer or Google Drive. Hopefully, this has been a helpful walkthrough of some of the student tools built into Seesaw. If you have questions, please reach out and let me know.